Hello, it's Peter Buick here. I'm just a convertory user just like you, but I just thought I'd just quickly show you uh, how the um, autoresponder forms work. So the first thing that we need to do uh, is just get your autoresponder form code. So I'm having to use uh, Beatmail from Zaxa, um, but basically, you know, you just, whoever your system does it, uh, you know, you just create a list and then you create a form and you fill that form in, uh, you know, I can design the form how I want but basically in the end you end up with uh, this form code here which is a load of HTML kind of stuff uh, and we can click no style so that it doesn't uh, you know, get in the way but you know, basically it ends up with, with a form as you can see you've got a little form tag uh, you know, there so you basically just um, you know, select that and copy it okay, uh, well I right mouse clicked and did that and then you just go to uh, Convertory and on the dashboard, so this is before you even build a page, on the dashboard um, we can go to Autoresponder Forms which is the second um, button in and we can add a form um, and I'm going to uh, name it um, OK and then in this thing which says form markup that just means the form code I know it only looks like one line at the moment but it's actually um, you know an expanding box so all we do is we just put the cursor in that in that field and just control V in there or you can uh, you know, right mouse click and do paste but as you can see basically we've named the form and we've put the form code in there and you can see the little uh, you know, HTML tag there called form and then we just create that okay and then there it is and then you can see I've got another list up there. So now that we've done that, now we can do the you know the stuff that we came here to do. So I've created a little campaign, whatever, uh, and I've used the template uh, number two template, which has got uh, the form on it. But how do you make this form, you know, connect to your, um, you know, to, to your list? So basically, if you click the uh, you know, the email field up here in the info bar, you can see um, that uh, this little thing pops down, and then we can assign uh, the email. Now, if you haven't, uh, you know, if, if that doesn't appear, in fact, let me show you a, a, a new one um, just to make sure that um, you know you see it from scratch. So uh, I'm on the campaign. I just create a new. Uh, you know, template, whatever. Uh, let me just call it test two or something. Uh, there we go. So now uh, we've got test two. Now, annoyingly, it sits right on top of the other one, so you need to drag it out so you can see your other page. But there we go. Uh, Andy knows about that. Uh, so we just double clicked to open that page, and again, now we see we've got the, you know, the same thing, the form field. But now you see it isn't assigned to anything. And it gives us the big clue that says we need to set uh, the form for this page first. Okay, so so basically up here, configure form now is the second button in, and when I go to configure form, you can see the forms I've already or the lists I've already created are here. Okay, and then I can just uh, you know pick the one I want. I'm going to click the um, little edit button. Uh, it's got uh, four form fields that it's picked up, so that's that all looks good. So just do that, and then I'm just going to click the little arrow that says use. So I'm going to assign this form, or in other words, this list, uh, yeah, because this form is attached to a list, um, to this page. Now, now that I've done that, now when I click the form field, I can now click on this drop-down menu and find the form, the fields that it wants. Now, it said there were four form fields, but you know, three of them were basically hidden fields that basically you know say which list it's going to go on and all that sort of stuff from the autoresponder company's view. But the only actual you know live uh, field in there was email. Now I might have name or something, um, but in this particular one there was only email. So now I've done that. Basically, it's done, and the submit button uh, is automatically assigned to be submit because we've assigned it under this configure form button here when we pick the right form and we click use okay so hopefully that makes sense so now that's all set up we click save because otherwise what we've done isn't saved uh, and we must click publish otherwise it's going to go you know stupid um, and I'll just give it a name now this is the name that the you know will be in the URL um, uh, so uh, 
I'm going to make it uh, you know something moderately friendly, um, rather than opt in or lead grab or you know give me your newborn or something like that. Um, and I'm just going to publish that. Now, now that I've published it, you see the little eye preview eye comes up, and before that wasn't there. So you have to save, you have to publish, and then you get the preview eye. And now we've done that. Now we can click on preview, and now we can type in, you know, whatever it is. Okay, and when we click the submit button, hopefully uh, it will work and it will go on to the um, autoresponder, which it has done because I created a redirect on there. And if I just check my um, yeah autoresponder field uh, for, or um, you know service, then lo and behold, under my uh, uh, you know users manage contacts, there's the lead that I just signed in today uh, under the form or the list. Uh, that I wanted, uh, you know, there. He's, he's also joined, you know, these other lists, which is why they're there. But there's the one that I actually assigned, um, you know, to that page. And that's it. So there we are. Um, so that's how how it works. Um, it's a little bit kind of, you know, hidden. Um, you know, but there we go. And the only other just thing, you know, worth mentioning, so, you know, I'll just save it again just to make 100% sure. Um, now that you've, you know, set that up, uh, you can click on this uh, little... Um, thing here and um, you you can do uh, preview from there as well and you'll notice that the actually you can't see that uh, but you'll notice that the URL up here that's the public URL so it's, you know, it's your username whatever at convertry.com and then whatever you called the page so that's why I didn't want to call it new newborn or something like that because um, the you know the people see that uh, and now you've got that you know that URL Okay, uh, then you can use that in your, uh, your marketing to you know to publicise this page. Okay, so that's it. Uh, Peter signing out. Uh, talk to you then. Bye for now.